Here's a shot of the old seal. Here's a doubler ring. He had to cut it to take it apart. You can see this area here. <coughs> Excuse me. Has a lip that presses down on the crankshaft so it doesn't ex let the oil come past it. There's oil pressure on my thumb side. It pushes this apart and pushes against the crankshaft. The spring holds it tight. The double ring keeps it from pushing up and collapsing it this fashion. Crankshaft seal in boiling water so it warms up, gets real pliable so we can stretch it over the flange. Here's the flange, much bigger than the seal. Here's the seal mating surface of the crankshaft. It's all cleaned up, properly diagonally sanded. We're gonna take that seal, we're gonna put a zip, we're gonna put a plastic bag over this, coat it with oil, and we're gonna put the seal put it right over the top. Easy cheesy. Place the bag over the crankshaft flange. Smear it with oil. Nice and slippery. Grab our preheated seal. And it's on. All we gotta do now is pull the bag out, clean it all off, and we'll move on to the next step. Form the gasket to the outside flange. That's gonna get forced back into this groove here, and that'll hold it all in place, adhesive-wise. Then we have a retainer plate that goes on the front of it, two pieces, keeps it in place as well to handle the pressure of the oil in the crankshaft. And the seal's in place. Now we'll attach the plates.